Okay, um, y'all, it's been a whirlwind over here. Um, so, where to start? First off, I want to start by saying thank you guys so much for always watching, but I just haven't been feeling it. I have not been feeling it. I have not been feeling well. Um, I've been off of Instagram for about a little bit over a week. Um, and I just want to chat. Because for me, talking always makes me feel better. And all of my closest friends, like Sarah, Victoria, of course, Chris, my best friend. Um, but everybody who's like constantly been checking up on me and everything, you are so appreciated. Like, yeah, I don't know the half. So here's what's been going on. Ooh, tan is popping. I don't think people realize that social media is not I don't know like I'm not gonna be the one to come on here and cry and just I don't know that's just not me and a lot of times people confuse that with like oh you just have the perfect happy go lucky life no you're only seeing the good there's so much bad in this world why would you even want to see the bad you know um yeah people get that so construed like like you're only seeing a not even a quarter like just a pinch of someone's life they're allowing to share with you you guys are so blessed you guys must have money to just throw to the world because oh when i tell you everybody's sending sob stories and paypals or not paypals sob stories and gofundmes like no we have problems too we got bills and debt i've been i don't want to say the word depressed because I don't know, I think people throw that word around so easily. I just don't think that I've been depressed, but I've been down and sad. And usually I get down and sad once a month and I never, I'm never ever one to pay attention to dates because we're always on the go. I honestly forget what day it is. But anytime close to my cousin's death date, I notice I always get sick. I don't know if it's a mental thing, I don't know, but I get sick as in I don't want to really do anything. I'm just so sad where I could literally cry if I wasn't thug life, but I'm thug life. So, but I could cry. I always feel like, I don't know, irritable, just really sad. Nothing makes me happy. Sorry about that. I'm going to silence my phone. But yeah, nothing makes me happy. But this month, not this month because this is September now, but last month was a little bit harder. I noticed my sadness hit earlier and it was a little bit longer than it normally is. I started to just think about what it is that's making me unhappy. One of the reasons is just not feeling stable. We're still in our apartment. This is our apartment, by the way. Um, we have not been able to sell our house. And I have been, I have been vlogging our rehab situation. This video might go up before y'all see that. So stay on the lookout for that and you'll know what I'm talking about now. Ooh, that's another thing. My attention span, I can't focus on anything. Zip, not a none. Not too long. It, it's a task for me to sit down and edit right now. Yeah, I can't focus. My attention span is extremely short. I'm always anxious. And when I say anxious, that butterfly gut feeling like something bad is about to happen. I'm always, always feeling that. And if I'm not feeling that, then I'm just worried. Like, oh, did I not do this? Did I not do that? Did I turn off this? It's just nonstop. So what I've been doing is just keeping busy with the kids and, and Chris. And I've just deleted like stayed off of social media I know one of the things that really hurts me is because it's just one of me and Chris but he doesn't really know how to work like Instagram and stuff so it's really hard or it weighs heavy on me when I can't reply to messages I know this sounds so stupid but like I love that you guys can message me and I've I'm always going to keep it open where you guys can always message me, 
but it, I get so overwhelmed with the amount of messages I get and I feel guilty now that I can't reply to every single person because I have my regular life too that I have to deal with and I can't because I can't stay focused long enough to sit and let me reply to all these inbox messages because I can't focus right now. That's why I've been absent on my Instagram and pretty much my YouTube too. Um, usually I try to get out two videos a week. I don't know if y'all have been noticing, but I try to get out two videos a week and hopefully I'll eventually be able to get out three videos a week. Over here is just really hectic and to like clear my mind and clear my, my thoughts and just become centered again, I've been reading. One of the books I'm reading is A Piece of Cake and the other one is The Alchemist. Yeah, just two books that I'm reading right now. And honestly, A Piece of Cake is such a sad book in itself. Like it's so much going on in it that I have to sit it down and come back to it a lot because it makes me cry. But I need that to pull out those emotions. And it also makes me be grateful because things can be so much worse. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be grateful. So back to the house and rehab situation because I know, and I'm sorry, this is going to be all over the place, but our house can't sell. And that's one of the reasons why we are still in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, pause, hold on, stop, wait. We get a lot of flack and hate because I'm the one to say, well, when we're trying to do things in the community, I don't show you guys a lot of the back work that we do or a lot of our business work that we do, but I get a lot of flack personally, not me, but Chris mainly because I don't go to those meetings. I could care less those um, community meetings and things of people saying, well, your wife doesn't even like living in Louisville. You guys, you're right. I do not like living in Louisville. It's never been a secret. I've always been open and saying I don't like living here. I'm from Chicago. That's a really big city. To come from Chicago, a big, big, busy place, to something that's so small, so close-minded, because the second you try to step out of the box, people are looking at you like, what? If you don't get back in line? I'm not used to that. I'm, and I can't. I, I don't think I will ever be able to adjust to the mindset of Louisville. Um, not, n And that's just a part of it. The racism is out of this world. I run our mobile home park. I get called the N-word just about every other day. I get it so much that is normal. Like, it, I don't want that to be a norm for me. So I'm sorry if I can't conform to Louisville. I'm sorry if I dislike Louisville. I've never liked it here, guys. And I, Chris and I have been together for six years. Of those six years, two of those, two and a half of those years, we lived in California. Out of six years that I've been here, I can't tell you one friend that I have here because I always have to think like, uh, does this person have interior motives? Um, most people only call you when they need something. I would just rather stay to myself and stay in my kids and my husband. That's just, that. that's what it is. In California, I was able to go places and people not know who Chris was or who we were and we're just treated normal. Here, yeah, that just comes with the territory. I just don't like living here. So back to the housing situation. We've been making bigger moves and doing a lot of stuff so that we can run it from elsewhere or that we were able to have that leisure to travel more because Right now, traveling has even been on a, a pause. And another reason, okay, wait, this isn't back to the housing situation. This is back to living in Kentucky. When we're here, we're never not working. I don't like that. It's nonstop. It's literally nonstop. And it's overwhelming. I don't really know how else to word it, but... I just can't see us ever raising our family here. That's just the truth, y'all. Like, and people get mad at you speaking your truth, but it is what it is. I'm not saying that Kentucky is so, so horrible. I'm just saying that, and, and I know too, this is another reason too. I'm just saying that, hold on, let me finish my sentence. This Louisville is just not for me. It's not where I wanna be. 
it's not for me. It's just not working for me. In Louisville, it's been a lot of sadness and a lot of things that have happened in the past where I only can attach negativity to it. The only positive that I've gotten out of Louisville is Isla, because she was born here. I'm not trying to get emotional, but yeah, it's just not for me. Even with the girls, the girls are not in Louisville. So the girls, when I say the girls, I mean Chris's oldest daughters for people who don't know who the girls are. But yeah, they're not in Louisville. Yeah, back to the house. We have not had any offers on it, any interest on it. We're deciding to remodel it. With the remodel, we're hoping that that would pique some interest. If not, we're moving back into that house, y'all. I just, even with the apartment, I'm feeling suffocated. I always have to remind Isla, Isla, there's neighbors underneath us. I do love that we're literally a block away from Isla school, so we can walk to pick them up or we can walk to drop them off. That's really convenient, but other than that, we might be moving back into the house if it does not sell after the rehab work. And for sure, we will be spending Christmas there because I want to provide Christmas for them where they're comfortable. Here we're a little bit smushed, like sardines. <laughs> I don't know any other descriptions besides just being smushed. We're working on rehabbing the house. And I'm going to show you guys all the steps and everything. And I, I mean, like, I would want to know if you all would be interested in knowing our overall costs and our overall time frame that we're working with. Yeah, I just want you guys to see that. I don't know if anybody would be interested in that or if that would be boring. But I know that you guys like being nosy, not in a negative way. You guys like being nosy, so a lot of people may want to know that. And yeah, I'm just trying to recenter, refocus, and get Nikki back. Because I don't know why everybody think I'm superwoman. I'm just not one for faking it. I just, it's really hard for me to fake it. Not feeling it right now, but I promise you, I'll be back. Look, the struggle is real too, okay? We don't talk about it, but it's so real. Chris is dealing with so, so much in He's just dealing with a whole lot. And he's able to just make light of everything by just making jokes and laughing. That's one of the ways he deals with it. For me, I just have to talk about it and I just have to, wait, I internalize it, let it out, and then I can move on and be good. But yeah, it's just a bunch of negativity that I associate with Louisville, so. Sorry. The good thing is that I'm able to say y'all and feel comfortable with saying y'all. Like, that's a positive. I love positives. Um, I used to feel so uncomfortable saying y'all. But yeah, Louisville has taught me that. And yeah, other than that, I just... Oh, I knew it was something I was forgetting. Another thing, this happened, I want to say two weeks ago. And it just really, they're just like, ooh, you gonna do this to me? The house, you guys, the house that I thought was our dream house in Nashville, it sold. It sold. I already cried about it and everything, so I ain't gonna cry right now. But y'all, you know what that means. It just wasn't our house then. So I know that God is about to deliver something better. He got a backup plan to the backup plan. And yeah, that I think that had a lot to do with my my mood too, because I was just like, damn. It's always something like just let up just let let up a little bit come on now it's always something now sorry that was Chris texting um so yeah um the household and I that type of pain man I was just like I just knew this was the house and I, I didn't get to show you guys this house but I just knew that was the one and God was like nope I can't wait to see what's in store for us next. And I hope you guys are along for the ride. Um, uh, what else? One more other thing I do want to mention is that I get a lot of questions about like how do we do it? How do we make it look easy? And honestly, it's just, it's not easy. If I'm being honest, it's never easy. 
it's just a ton of prayer that's been getting me through and reading and just being the listen like the ear to other people's troubles and problems that makes me just like okay we could have it worse and that's what makes me just like okay keep fighting keep going it could be so much worse that's what keeps me going yeah i th i think that's it i just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on how i've been feeling and i feel 10 times better now just getting it out there and just letting you guys know what's going on because ooh, i'm horrible at faking like i can't i can't fake it i can't this is what it is but yeah we're still really looking into nashville and only because it's it's only i don't know if a lot of you guys know this but it's just a three hour drive from us from us is in from louisville so we can literally go back and forth whenever as much as we want so it just makes more sense to do nashville california will always have our hearts as in ours is in me and isla's she literally tells everyone she's from california and was born in california though she wasn't <laughs> but yeah california will forever have our hearts but yeah it's just too far from businesses from the money you know i'm about to head to my lash appointment now because my lashes are looking crazy and um yeah it was good releasing that and letting you guys know why i've been missing off of instagram mainly and youtube a little bit but i'll see you guys in the comments as always i hope you guys really enjoy the updates to the house like the renovations i think that's gonna be so cool to see how this turns out i'm like the interior person i've been picking out all the tiles and everything the finishes chris is more of the visual where he's like this should go here like the toilet should be moved here this should be moved there and me i'm more of the finishes so we're gonna have this type of wall we're gonna do this kind of paint like that this color cabinet that's how i am yeah i think that's it for now so i'll see you guys in our next vlog and remember if you two are going through something similar or just feeling like damn again like what else or just sad and down brighter days are coming stay positive keep going read a book pray that's it that's all i'll see you guys in our next vlog oh that rhymed